QR codes are an essential tool for every brand as they give a digital dimension to your product and services. Let's learn more together. In this video, we are going to show you how to create a static and dynamic QR code using the QR Tiger API. But first, scan this QR code to go to QR Tiger's API documentation page or copy the link in the description. In the left side of the page, you will see the API operations you can do using our API. More operations will be added in the future soon. Let's create a dynamic QR code. Under Campaign, click on Create a Dynamic QR Code. In the middle section of the page, you will see how you need to structure your API request. In the header section, you need to add authorization, bearer API key, and also set the content type to JSON. In the request body section, you can see a sample body request, if you want to create a URL QR code, or a vCard QR code. In the responses section, the API will return a 200 response with the following data. In the right section, you can try out our APIs easily and automatically generate the code you need. First, make sure to insert your API key in the headers section. To get your API key, go to QR Tiger and in the upper right section, click on My Account button. and update your body request. You can either choose vCard QR code or URL QR code. All you need to do is copy the code. Paste the code here, then click the send button to know the status if it's working. To get a list of all the values you can use in the ion pattern designs, check this documentation page. Going back to the code generation tab. You can generate a curl code, python, or even javascript code. Click on the blue send button to give our API a try. In the response body, you will see the image URL of your QR code and the short URL that your QR code uses. If you send an incorrect API key, our API will return a 403. Otherwise, you will receive a 200 response. Have fun playing around our API documentation and good luck! Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time to learn more how to apply QR codes successfully.